Welcome back, fellow eccentrics. I am the Neural, and this is the Blockcentric server. Today we're gonna keep building up our thingy here. The um, what? What you call? What should we call it? The Central Island, Central Docking Hub thing. That. Yes. Uh, we gotta get this built up, and I would like to get started on some housing on that side because that I think will complete oh there you go we loaded thank you uh, that would help um, uh, get the bay a little a little more busy maybe a couple of houses there maybe we'll just start there uh, that I believe will be the lighthouse uh, and we need to see what we're gonna do with this place now there is going to be a fantasy tower here, so down there we have our steampunk. Granted, it's still not very steampunky. We have a little water pump windmill there, um, kind of gray, uh, dark tones, but I believe this will, and the other uh, fantasy buildings will be lighter toned. Uh, that will help set the setting. Yes. I said that. Uh, how you liking Moody so far? Moody lighting for the win. I still haven't taken down that. That little bit of dirt right there. There. Okay. Uh, I need a shape, an interesting shape for this tower. And then what I think we're going to do uh, is there will be a sky dock up there for airships with cranes that will be able to uh, load merchandise downwards uh, and the tower itself will only uh, will only be used for uh, people passengers that uh, there's a reason for this which is uh, the inside of the tower doesn't have to be very big the very wide that way so let me get started on some sort of um, mm, not a structure, but a, a skeleton of a structure. Oh god. Is this an even number? What the hell? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, okay. I must be mistaken. Uh, okay, uh, le let me see if I figure out an interesting shape and I'll come straight back. Well, now that we have our little shape, uh, I like this a lot. Ranquest doesn't like diorite very much, <laughs> but we really needed something white for this, and he's welcome to replace it with quartz <laughs> if he wants to. Um, and uh, anyway, I, uh, I'm not overdoing it. It's just these lines right here. I followed a Fibonacci sequence for, for this to keep the, the proportions uh, pleasant, or so I hope. Because I didn't start from the very beginning of the sequence, I started it at 3, so 3, 5, uh, uh, 3 is down there, 3, 5, 8, 13, and then back, 8, 5, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, um, and this will give it, uh, hopefully, uh, a starry shape. Now, I'm wondering... Let's just shed some light on the subject. I'm wondering if I should do roughly the same on the the the, Euclid, the Euclidean signs, so uh, sides, so these four sides instead of the diagonals. Um, but I think that would only end up square. So what I want is for this to be a, a star shape, uh, <sighs> a star-shaped platform. Uh, mm, let's get rid of these. Uh, um, a star-shaped platform, but we're gonna need to go one down. That was scary. <sighs> yeah, maybe we're gonna start here, and the star shape will... It'll have to come from here, and then into the middle, and then back again. That's gonna be a... That's actually gonna be a complicated curve. Uh, but yeah, you you can see the point. So this will be the loading and unloading platform. I didn't want this to be gargantuan either. Uh, 
because uh, we have a lot of work to do with this project already. But this is going to be the, the main platform and then we're going to put a roof on it. Uh, so it's going to go uh, uh, a ways higher up, but only decoratively. I'm hoping I can put some of that clay that I mined from, the, um, from Geos, uh, some of that clay to good use. Mine isn't that a sight. Let me just grab a, a little screen of that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try to figure out these lines here and uh, I'll come straight back. And for those of you who haven't seen Geos yet, here she is. Half unfinished. Uh, I, I forgot what I needed for, for it now uh, to, to actually finish it. Uh, what was it? I completely forgot. Anyway, I mined a whole bunch of clay for in, from inside there. Uh, and... Mm, I put it here. Here. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. And I forgot to actually unload before I came. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a stack of you. And... I want it... I wanted purple clay, lime and green. Hmm, I have red clay at the Lenore. I do have red clay at the Lenore. Maybe but I did want some different shades of purple. Uh, mm, hmm. I do have some orange here. Uh, 13. This isn't enough for anything. Oh, ooh, I'm gonna need those. Uh, huh. Gray wool. No. Uh, okay, brown clay. Not exactly what I want. Ah, uh, here are some lively colors. Light blue. This is an absolute no-no because it takes lapis. And I am not... Oh, no, no. The light blue takes the swamp flowers. But there are no swamps around. Uh, light blue is also an option. Yeah, a little light blue with maybe some uh, white is actually pink uh, in that biome. Maybe some magenta? I forgot what light blue. What about light blue and red? What do you think of that? Pink dye, lime green dye, light blue dye, that I want. Uh, Peony, magenta. Eh, this is gonna take me so long. All right, let let me let me choose. Oh dear lord, you have been there for months and have not these. Oh, cobble, awesome. Uh, okay, okay. L let me try to figure out a color palette here, and I'll show you what it looks like after it's in place. And now that we t took care of that, yeah, here's what I'm going with. Wow, it it actually looks much better than I than I was afraid of. Yeah, okay, okay. So you can see the kind of ugh, the kind of starry shape. There, okay. So the kind of starry shape or petal-like shape the, that I managed to pull off there. Uh, <clears throat> I think that those curves there are good enough because this is clay and it's all full blocks. About the color palette, I believe I'm going with um, yellow or yellow and orange highlights. Really make it vivid. Um, or possibly even green and leave the yellow and orange for the dome or peaked roof that we'll put on top of that thing. Um, that uh, Tell me in the comments what you think, because I don't think we'll, we'll get to the roof on, in this episode. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Now, um, I, I all I have to do now is get it on all sides. And of course, we still have to do this part. But I really wanted to get a feel for what the fantasy part of this w would be like. Uh, so nothing too huge here. Um, this is actually relatively small. Uh, so we have uh, lots of room for an interesting roof. Oh, you bastard. Ugh. For an interesting roof... 
And uh, right now I just have to repeat this pattern on all sides and then let's um, let's take care of some highlights or decoration for the thing, shall we? Well everybody, w with this lovely view I decided I I'm gonna time lapse me building up the this wall, so um, uh, stick around and here we go. Alright, that took quite a bit of effort. Uh, but finally it is done. Wow, this took so much clay. I'm glad we <laughs> went with the with the red clay because uh, this is uh, relatively easy to obtain. I'm not sure. Mm, I wonder. Oh, this was... okay. <laughs> uh, why was this like this? I don't know, but uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's see if we can check it out from say there, and uh, shouldn't be too much of a wow. I like the the shadow play there. Uh, <laughs> I record with shadow play, therefore shadow play. Uh, I wish they'd sponsor me. Uh, but yeah, the petals petal ish look uh, seems to have stuck. Uh, and it's not too square. Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, I think I think now we're gonna want to get upstairs there and um, actually try to figure out some sort of a, a lid, a uh, covering of sorts for for that place. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a uh, an eight pillar design. So let's go let's go over this. Uh, this will still be a steampunky um, slash fantasy. This this little square box where we're at right here. Uh, I still have to figure out how we're, I'm gonna pull that off. Oh no, no, hold on. Ah, uh, how I'm gonna pull that off? Um, but uh, at the top here, I designated a little circle in the middle. You can start to see it. You see, um, that's gonna be uh, probably the uh, staircase down, a spiral staircase down, um, or possibly if someone on the server is willing to do some sort of a redstone design for uh, for this, like an elevator or or something. I'm not sure. I don't think anybody could fit an elevator there. That's only three by three. Um, but uh, yeah, now where these torches are, uh, I was thinking uh, we could build pillars. Now, pill. Did I hear something? Ugh. Uh, okay, pillars. Uh, now these pillars. Mm, I'm probably gonna go with quar. No. Quartz is uh, quartz is way too expensive because we'd have to progress it to the dome or peaked roof itself. Uh, but uh, let me fiddle around with some designs and materials, and uh, I'll come back to you to show you uh, what I've come up with. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our very pinkish, <laughs> very pinkish pillars. I like them. Uh, I like them. I am not. I don't usually l like my pillar designs. Uh, this one I think worked out. Now I know I said that uh, maybe the roof was gonna be for next time, but we still have a, l a wee bit of time. Uh, so I was thinking that maybe we could come up with something, and I was thinking about something, and now I realize, nope, right now, no joke, no joke, yeah. Right now, as I was starting to think about doing it, I was thinking that we could make a curve, kind of like, it came like this, and then outward, and outward to there. But since this is already on a diagonal, it would mean that the peak of the roof would have to be somewhere on top of the bridge or something. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to... Go for a round design. Hmm. Yep. We may have a dome on our hands. I just purled randomly into the harbor, admittedly trying to hit this 
ship right here and I ended up here. Now this is an accidental pro shot if ever I've seen one. Top of the crane. Alright, yep, that is going to be a dome after all. Um, I think it's gonna look cool. I think it is, but for today we are not going to finish it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the episode or a dislike if you didn't. And until next time, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.